All right, cool. So we have Nasmith versus Apo. Uh, I think this is round of 64 in the championship. Yeah. And it was a 5-2 open. Yeah, Nasmith gets a demand open, which is, um, I mean, you'd prefer if you got the 5-2 uh, rather than 2-5, because then you can trash something before you shuffle. Um, but still a very nice open. Um, has Nasmith been thinking about this turn for a while? Yeah, what are the options here? I mean, I think you do pawn for a uh, card in action and then salvage an estate. Yeah, is he debating between coin action or card action, probably? Must be. Oh, horse it. Oh. Hold on one second. I need to... I'll be right back. Okay. Okay, so... Demanding a hideout. That's, I mean, seems good for trashing. Not, hasn't got any stockpiles yet. Hi. So we're making use of the demand with not terrific five options early. Okay, seems fine. So for Apo here, is it pawn stockpile or demand stockpile? Yeah, demand. So seven. Not sure what he wants here. Stockpile and... Yeah, I feel like demanding stockpiles is like one of the best things you can do on this board. It's kind of a sad board. Yeah, demand is Pawn demand stockpile. Nice. Like, I think they're going to keep demanding stockpiles for a decent amount of time. Yeah, that's, that's solid. Just getting them, cycling through them. And here's the hideout. So yeah, I mean, hideout kills coppers, salvager kills estates, and just keep slamming stockpiles. They'll be gone soon. Yeah, so it get pretty thin, but then after that, I don't exactly know what would be the buy to get everything to the next level. Yeah, Assemble Me, Raider is the best Cordier target. Um, it's the only multi-type on the board. Raider, oh, yeah, Raider Courtier, That's that seems pretty solid. Uh, I mean, this board is very uninspiring. Like, I think you want to play something that's essentially just storyteller money. Yeah, that's that ends up being the case a lot of the time. So, what is this? Demand stockpile and bond? Yeah, that seems good. Yeah, so one fun thing with Way of the Horse is you can demand any action card and you basically put two horses on top of your deck. 
Yeah, that seems especially nice with some of these cards in this board. Okay, so now Smith drawing pretty much his whole deck using Salvager as a horse because he's got nothing really left to salvage. Yeah, the, that way of the horse might come into play again with stuff that you don't want to use a ton. What? Like, it's way of the horse, like Salvager, after you salvage states, you can way of the horse, get some draw, and then not have it in your deck. So the hideout can keep going through coppers. Yep. Yeah, card coin is the best option. Gene. Just down to a hideout upon or coppers and uh Drank Booze. Oh, I love the Dan Brooks anagram names. Yeah, I I when I first saw that, I just my mind wanted to think Dan Brooks and I was like, wait no, it's not right. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of them. Drank booze, dark boons. Um, someone really, uh, Dark Bosons is, or Dark Boson was an anagram for Dan Brooks. <laughs> Haven't seen that one. Alright, so Nathmus goes ahead and grabs the rest of the stocks. Yeah, that's, that seems good. There's a courtier. Yep. So doesn't we really have a good Cordier anything? target right now. Yeah, he only has one type, I think. Right now. I mean, the only multi-type on the board is Raider. Yeah, and that's three, so I think that'd be pretty good to get. Yeah, everyone's thinking about Raider. So, A. Smith is so much thinner, so he looks way ahead at right now. Okay, seven. Demand and pawn. So I'm not sure if you want to spend any of these stockpiles here. I mean, your deck isn't doing much without them, but you kind of want to save them a little bit. Maybe you spend one here and buy something. The problem is you really want to buy a raider, and that means you have to put two yeah. in. Yeah, if you put two, you could go raider pawn. Sure. I don't know if that's good or not. I mean, I mean at worst, the pawn's a horse, so... That's not bad. Yeah. Matt Smith taking his time to think about this one. Um, these are well, kind of yeah. awkward boards when you first just pummel stockpiles, and then after that, you kind of don't know what you're supposed to do next. Yeah. <laughs> I've I've had games like that, just empty stockpiles and all right. what then? Nas cashes them all in. Presumably this will be something like Raider, yeah. another Cordier, and maybe a Shanty. Or it could be Raider and then demanding something. I'm here now. Oh hey RTT. Uh, can you turn your volume up somehow? You're really quiet. Yeah. Yeah, I'll try. So a 10 here. Okay. So, uh, sure. Nasmith did do what I was guessing, which is Raider Cordier's Shanty. Okay, horse is a pawn. Gets the yeah, nice reveal nice. off 
uh, Reader. That'll add some stuff to his deck, and then hopefully Shanty draws up the, next, the other Cordier. So, like Chat was talking about before, I think you don't pl ever play the Raider here. Because if you do, then you can't use it next turn for Cordier. So you either have to have yeah. two Raiders, or you need to not play the Raider. Yeah, I, I can see that. Just... Hmm. Interesting. Oh yeah, he doesn't need an extra action, I'm guessing. Yeah, because no. we're by action gold. Oh, no, that's this shanty court court here is nice. Hi, is that better? Yeah, it's better. Yeah. yeah. Wait, wow. Oh, Coke? okay, <laughs> resign. That feels a little premature to me. I mean, Nasmith had more stockpiles. Well, no, they split 5-5. Five, five. Um, he was certainly set up with the Raider Cordier thing a little faster, but that didn't seem on... You know, a dud could happen. Yeah, I would never resign that early, but... I mean, he definitely was ahead. Yeah, but if you don't... Don't think about... Uh, don't... What's the word? I don't know what you're thinking. Don't trust about. Naismith to make mistakes, you'll have a problem. Yeah. You, you have to sometimes yeah. pretend that Naismith will um, not play perfectly, because if you assume he's always going to play perfectly, then what's the point even playing? Yeah, all right. Oh, yeah. RTT is uh, banned from this game. Ooh. Uh, yeah, you can't, you can't be in this game. It's always like church. Uh, There's some strange ones being banned. Interesting ban list. That's not nice with ban list, right? No. Nice I, I think he... Recently he was talking about how he had unbanned uh, everything but tournament. Why does he not like tournament? Uh, well... There's a lot of good reasons to not like it. It's uh, the shortest. I think his reasoning that he said was he doesn't like how it encourages people to green so early. But why does he participate in this tournament? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Okay. What's this board about? We have no. Okay, so we see a treasure open. That's uh, pretty strong. So. The draw is beggar secret passage. And then crypt. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, treasure, definitely. Treasurer, money, stuff. Um, takes us treasury. Interesting. We were just talking about treasury and how people really... Yeah, early forge looks great. Um, oh, yeah. That is very nice. Yeah, I had a tactician forge game. I just tactician and I forged however many three estates and however many coppers into a grand market. Like, Early Forge could also be kind of sad here. Hmm. You never collide estates with it. Because yeah. you don't mind the coppers, they are treasurer food. Yeah, or... it's pretty high variance what the Forge will line up with. Yeah, I mean, Forge, it can be good, C can be decent. It just depends on how much you can draw and. Just well, there's no real draw. draw. So. Yeah. Exactly. So you have no chance of getting like a very big hand for forge. Um, the only way beggar. to increase your hand size is uh, beggar, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, beggar with the crypt combo. Mm -hmm. Get all those coppers out of there. Very nice. And then you have a big forge to get all those, those coppers away. Okay, four copper forge. Other forge looks similar. Uh, four coppers for one copper. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So this is presumably going to be a squire? Squire, yeah. yeah. Is there an attack here? No. 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 So you can't use the squire trash effect. This is, this is a board where you, which I wouldn't mind as, as Apu, if you think you are the weaker player. These are the kind of boards. Ask for. Yeah, money boards, especially money with like weak draw and no attacks, um, are naturally I think higher variance. There's just less room for the better player to outmaneuver and gain mm -hmm. gain advantages. Uh, yeah, I'm recording. Assemble me. Yeah. 
This time I'm recording the right source even, so we'll have the whole thing. Yeah. The last recording I did, the first game I was recording an empty Dominion window, so... Uh, have Have you checked that you record all, all the sounds of us? Uh, I didn't... I can see in my OBS that you guys are coming through. Okay, yeah, that's good. Sometimes. Yeah, I, sad, yeah. Sad I, I definitely had a bunch of uh, <laughs> bad recordings when I started doing this, but I think I've gotten most of the hiccups out now. So, what do we buy here? Just provinces. Yeah, there's not too much else to do on this province. board. Yeah, that province seems fine. Do you do all this to Secret Passage and then Squire? Or something different? Yeah, I think I like that Secret Passage and Squire. There's not much else to do. I mean, there's hardly any other options. The most coins you're going to get if you don't do it is four. Unless you want to keep one and get keep the, the villager. Up. Yeah, that's that was the other option. To buy a village? Hmm. Why would you need that many villages here? Yeah, there's not like a particularly large number of terminals you're looking to play. I mean, obviously, Haglar, Kiln, and Treasure are all good terminals, but it's very hard to play more than one of them on a turn. Yeah, because you're not here. I mean, getting I actions... Worth keeping a copper to get a village. I don't think so. Yeah. Red, Red and and gold. Undo it. Trash yeah, no. So no way of a rat yet. I I don't know if that's gonna come into play or not. Oh no, I I confused rat with butterfly. Oh, butterfly okay. unfortunately fun. Yeah, I had an animal fair butterfly game once. So. Oh, that's always good when you have butterfly and seven costs. I don't yeah. know if ratting treasuries is the best game plan here. <laughs> Doesn't seem very strong. Hagler I mean, you can just buy a treasury. Yeah, Haggler seems more interesting. Yeah, I think a Haggler here would be create some... I mean, you have the secret passages to uncollide your Haggler's treasurer. They do collide. It's kind of likely that that works out fine. You have a few villages. Yep. So... Whole hand for Squire there. Good trash. Estate, copper, secret passage into gold. Mm -hmm. And buy another treasury. Or a haggler. Yeah, I... That looks... that seems solid. <laughs> Yay. A Hagler there. It's always I fun like when you're on commentary and you propose a line and then the player takes that line you're like, yeah. You, you always... <laughs> you feel so accomplished. Especially if it's someone like Naismith. Quickly check if Naismith is listening. <laughs> <laughs> So there is the option to forge treasury silver to province, and then you can pick the silver back up with treasurer. Yeah, it's I mean, probably want to keep the treasury for a bit. Yeah, because like a finishing play. Yeah, what? goes for a second uh, forge. That 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 was weird. Okay, <laughs> it immediately undoes. <laughs> Because you can't even buy anything really. Just buy a province. Don't play the forge. Yeah, that's 
That seems good to me. So, do you or gain? Do you gain a silver with Squire? Oh, oh okay, I, I guess. That. I mean, okay. the Squires are bad in your deck. You want to get rid of them. Another undo. Just buying okay. gold. We're exploring the possibilities of what you can do with Forge here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, a, that's a bit of a case of think first before you click. Okay, so they both have Hagglers now. Haggler feels like a very good terminal on this board. Um, yeah. yeah. Once yeah, coppers start to something. run out, it's probably a bit stronger than treasure as your terminal. Not that you really have to choose between them. With Secret Passage, you can deal with them colliding pretty easily. With Village, you can play them both. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's where the Village comes in. So, he probably, he can hit 8 this turn. If he does, does he province or not? I think you have to province. Yeah, it seems right. You have Hagler too to pick up another of whatever you want. Well, that deck looks kind of good from Nesmith now. Very clean. Trash the copper. Oh, well, that's copper weird. oh you can regain the gold with treasure, that's mm -hmm. nice. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, no, he just has seven. So no, he oh, regains yeah, the, the gold. gold. Yeah, it's kind of like printing gold, using forge as mint. Yeah, forge <laughs> treasure to get rid of a copper and gain a gold. No Province. Um, treasure. Secret yeah. passage, because you don't really need more golds in the deck. Squ Province Ooh. squire. Um, okay. Not sure I understand that squire. I mean, You're going for d double province turns. It's. It doesn't make sense, but. Yeah, it... squire is the two cost, so it does oh, work yeah. with gold. Forge gold squire. Yeah, I guess. Regain gold. <laughs> it's probably worse. Than... But I mean, beggar has way more style points. Oh, definitely. Beggar is so stylish. <laughs> I think Crypt could also be a decent gain of Hagler at some point. I mean, at this point, they're so thin, they don't really have too much treasure to stash away. Uh, yeah, I, I don't really see Crypt being that helpful. Yeah. Maybe if they add like two more golds to the deck or something. Yeah, for sure. At that point, the profit supply is probably too low. I mean, Crypt is one of the few cards on this board that does let you increase your hand size. But not in a particularly useful way. <laughs> uh, see what's in the trash. Not very much. Province treasury. So this Everyone turn should be two game. provinces for Ness. Assuming everything Apple. lines up. Apple it should. Update for tie breaking points. No treasuries found. Oh. Well, it doesn't find the forge. That's not great. So what do you put back? Treasure, presumably. That makes the most sense to me. I don't know, you could play all of that, get extra buys. Oh yeah, Squire does have extra buys. What can you yeah, buy? That's... How much money would that end up being? That's, that's why you buy Squire instead of Beggar, in case <laughs> something like this happens. <laughs> yeah, I'd say Squire's probably a bit of a better card than Beggar on the whole. Just a little bit.
So this would be 3, 6, 12 money and 3 buys if everything gets played. Yeah, so if he does that... Could be 2 golds, 2 treasuries. I think you want a province. Big province, seek, seek, or province of five, maybe a treasury or something, and then. Doesn't have enough money for a treasury, but you can uh, I mean, do with... prov passage. Looks like just a province, and then gain something. Yeah, I meant off the province gain. Oh, yeah, wow. I, I don't know what else. I mean. Problem passage. Gain a forge. Uh, Gain no, a... Lemon, this is game yeah. two. Is he in the chat? No. No, he isn't, so. Oh. <laughs> If this was game seven, there'd be far more spectators. <laughs> I think there were, um, will be more when the other game seven ends and people come in. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. What game seven is on? I wonder how many games it's going to go to. Not too bad versus pop one. Yeah, that's that's the game right now. Yeah, Province Secret Passage. Probably a good idea since he gutted last stream. Okay. Having no gold is kind of hurting. Your ability to do something useful with Forge plus a state. Three spectators there. I yeah, everyone wants to enough. watch. Uh, as the set gets further on, especially if it's going pretty even, it's just it yeah. snowballs. People just cling on. After one ends, they've, they've been in the situation. Just want to watch more Dominion. Yeah, which, which be... game has a certain amount of spectators? Let's join that one. Yeah. When the other set ends, I imagine we're going to see a big rush. So right now, debating what to put April back. Had, April's in a pretty good spot if he leaves three provinces. It's nice with going to do. Just double that G. Yeah, um, I like that line, Psycho. I can see that. And the Forge would be the top card of the next hand, right? Yeah. For sure don't mill a province this turn. No. <laughs> so, take the key and then... Province, I don't know. Gold. Secret passage. I mean, passages, two of them is a province with forge. But that's a lot of hand size. Yeah. I guess any two cards that you forge are a lot of hand size. Mm -hmm. You are kind of tempted to play the passage and <laughs> hope to draw something. It's <laughs> mm. a good yeah, question, what? Sean. And he could hope for a bad hand where April can't double province. 
or province plus X. Mm -hmm. Just handler and treasury, the treasurer. Uh, what? So turn a five into I a duchy. Okay, yeah, that's, that seems fine. So yeah, if uh, Apo can uh, mill a province and potentially buy a province here if he finds the right cards. Like the estate, or yeah, so you know, the secret passages help. Now he can't bottom deck the junk, that's probably good enough. Yeah, so that should be it. Treasure is on top, treasurer, treasury, and yet now treasurer. All right, yeah, now this is yeah, so on one. That was a good last turn, so... Very clean play. Was a kind of rough end game for Naismith as a second player there. Yeah, you got into that position where there's just nothing you can do. Very hard to win. Stockpile again. Masterpiece, Talisman, Guildhall. <laughs> oh, Interesting. Masterpiece, Guildhall. Yeah, just Masterpiece, Guildhall with stockpiles, I guess. Yeah. A lot of money for Guildhall, yeah. potentially. Yeah, Masterpiece Guildhall is a two-card combo. That's really strong. Oh, Apo has 2-5. Yeah, 2-5? I, I mean, it's okay, you open Guildhall. I think so, Lemon, but it, you definitely want some stockpiles, too. I don't think he's in the chat. Oh, <laughs> right. Voice <laughs> Come on, Lemon. So, is Old Witch or Guildhall better on the open? Colonies kind of make it interesting, right? Mm -hmm. There's time, uh, stuff to catch up with because usually with Guildhall masterpiece, the problem is you can't catch up to provinces. If one just goes for it, maybe there's something to do here. But uh, there's really no trashing, no village, so don't see any alternative to. Yeah, for three four, is it just double Talisman. stockpile? Okay, stockpile horse traders. Okay. Well, that horse trader's worked out. <laughs> yeah, you get colonies, but with colonies, the coffers run out quicker. Because you don't have 11 coins in hand all the time with a bunch of silvers. Or you never have. That old witch, I was kind of expecting that. So now. That's a good haul. I think so. Yeah. Yep, you want those coffers? Nice. And yeah. Uh, should be an easy game for Naismith, in my opinion, now. Yeah, masterpiece. Even bottom deck the stockpile and still is. Yeah. Oh man, so far ahead, no five for April again. It's rough. Uh, I guess Keep you all can. the coffers for eight masterpiece. Like seven, seven or eight coffers. Oh man. Uh, I wonder if he even wants to regain stockpiles now at some point, or just empty silvers. Guess you empty silvers and. Hapo is not choosing to pursue the uh, Guildhall masterpiece line, which seems bad. Yeah, but he is. <laughs> He's out of it. <laughs> what, what would he do? There's no silvers left next turn. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
Hey guys, I'm gonna have to be right back for. Sure. Uh, I don't know, ten, fifteen minutes or so. Okay, no worries. Hey. Fifteen cup guesses. <laughs> yeah. So this is presumably the last masterpiece by. Except you're piling. Do you actually pile silvers? Like, I don't... I mean, if it's the third pile and you are in the lead. <laughs> oh, sure. But now he can... Now you start on green, right? Or you just... Yeah. It all wins. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if Apo had a chance if he didn't open Old Witch, but it's still rough, I guess. I mean, if you open Guildhall, did he have two? He had two five, right? Mm. Yeah, so you can't you can't even get a coffer. But I think he had a chance if he opened Guildhall. Okay, a bit of a more dynamic board here. Oh yeah, we have trashing and village and draw. It's yep. all there. We Could have all the things we usually look with for. The village green combo. Yeah, but there is rebuild village green. <laughs> and beggar and miser, two power cards. Hunting lodge village green. Okay, for the first time, I think all set, neither player has a 5-2. Lighthouse open. Lighthouse silver or something like that? Or lighthouse village green. Hmm. Or lighthouse miser. If you want to play with disappearing stuff for hunting lodges. Yeah, I mean, it is payload. Animal fair might be better payload. Silver mode also seems reasonable. Something for plus buy anyways, either council room or animal fair, probably council room. Yeah. Take it will take a while before a pile empties. Mm-hmm. Without buys. Steph likes double lighthouse, interesting. Oh, we have twenty four viewers, I'm guessing the other set just ended. Welcome. This is Game four, now Smith leads two to one. Yeah, well, we have seen resigns. Topher, we have seen several um, resigns pretty early. These have been very fast games so far. One of them was good. <laughs> Masterpiece Guildhall, that's naturally quick, quick because you don't have many decisions. Yeah, just click those piles. Beyond the start. If you hit five, do you play it or do you trash the lighthouse for animal fair? Hmm. Okay, so Apo goes with the open you suggested of Lighthouse Village Green. Yeah, but I just thought about it. I didn't say I didn't say that's the best open or something. Sure. Ooh, gets five. Summon something. Mm-hmm. Or junk dealer. Hey, Grass Wanderer, you are muted. <laughs> I am going to mute them by hand. Tofa also isn't muted. OK, 
Okay, so he played the lighthouse there. Interesting. That was that was like a good option to trash it because you haven't don't have much money anyway. Okay, I think Bolt. I muted Topher. Why would you gain modes here? Um, I sort of see one in the open if you want it to bounce out like moat silver or something. is a decent opening, but there's just better draw than moat, right? Yeah, council room or hunting lodge. I mean, you could consider moat if you want to summon something. Because that's nice, but... Okay, so they've both they been summoning adding, those village greens. They should start adding hunting lodges. That's really nice with the decks they built. Mm -hmm. fair for the mode that he bought yeah i mean it's not going to give plus buy for a while but it is good payload for a disappearing money kind of deck they still don't have hunting lodges though first need hunting lodge and council room for the buy before for money makes any sense Turn. Presumably, yeah. I call the room. Okay, good. A lot of summoning village greens. Uh, still five left, so decently far off from Animal Fair giving plus buy, but they have council rooms now, so can really start building. Correct, Lemon. No hunting lodges bought yet. Also no rebuild bought yet. <laughs> One of those and is going rebuild, to change, though. <laughs> rebuild is... I mean, you could consider having rebuild in your deck just to flip all village greens when you have no green in the deck. Yeah. At once, that's kind of nice. Um, you're not necessarily going to be able to play them all, though, because of the, uh, errata to Village Green. Because sometimes with Rebuild, it'll cause a shuffle, so you play one and then the others get shuffled in. Yeah. I don't understand that. It's very strange. Discard the rest, it just says. Piece of council room and maybe another summon. So do you score with conquest here at some point? So it's definitely a consideration. 
Yeah, I could see taking a multi-conquest thing before you start at least, greening. At least it's the reason why you really build longer before you start greening here. Yeah, you definitely want to build for a while here. Yeah, the reliability from that card is just insane. At least once you are able to play it for next turn. Kind of like ghost taunts. Yeah, probably just... Well, my thought was it's good with Hunting Lodge, but they aren't doing that. Early of a conquest, maybe once more payload, and then later on you can lighthouse, uh, trash lighthouse to, add, to an animal fair. Yeah, just gives you some nice smoothing in your open. The question is why didn't they gain moat? <laughs> yeah. When you have lighthouse. <laughs> Yeah, ironically, Moat and Lighthouse are both fairly useful on this board, but neither of them for blocking <laughs> attacks. I mean, Conquest looks so attacky. It does. You'd expect it to be like Raid or something. Once these animal fairs get plus by will really be close to the end game, I guess. There's so much pile control at that point. Yeah. I mean, the decks also are very reliable because your opponents will draw you a bunch of cards every turn. Yeah, council room is draw tends to do that. You get the feeling like you're starting with an eight card hand every turn. surprised that neither player has taken a hunting lodge. I mean, I, mean, I guess they're sort of not needed. Now that you have all the council rooms, you don't need it, but could have built it in another direction. Mm -hmm. Council room works better with conquest, of course. Yep. This could be a multi-conquest here. I'm guessing they're considering turning another lighthouse into an animal affair. Synergizes if you don't draw your payload. The cans are are fine if you have a lot of disappearing payload. Hey, I'm back. Hey. Hey, what I miss? Um. They've both just been building, they took a conquest, but so far no real scoring, although that does seem likely to change pretty soon. Okay. And you missed Aesmith winning the last game with the Master of Peace Guild Hall combo. Oh yeah, I mm. forgot when you left. Yeah, that one Aesmith just ran away with. Yeah, he looks pretty ahead. Oh, he doesn't look ahead here. He isn't really ahead here, it's just Apo has all his coppers in hand, all his good stuff in 
text. Okay, looks like we're going for conquest. And rebuild. <laughs> A lot of silvers for only two council rooms, but only have three. Yeah, no, he only has two, so really a lot of silvers there early. Yeah. I'll draw. Might as well. Uh, very possible to dot here. The council rooms are somewhere on the bottom. Oh, and we know. Oh, no. Careful how many cards we're going to play now. If you don't really need the buy. I don't think he needs the other one. <laughs> well, if he I wants the buys, let's see what he does with them. Yeah, I mean, I Silver Conquest I Conquest is only three buys. Guess you get a lot of it free now because you have more animal affairs. I don't see buying four things. I'm not sure what four things you buy probably here. Probably buying cheap stuff so that he can get animal affairs later with it. That's probably reasoning. Yeah, I don't really see the four buy line. about what you buy if you really think you need four buys. Mm -hmm. Oh man, if the last card Mason with Cross is a council room, you better just have bought three things. Well, it's two modes, a summon and a conquest. And there's a council room. You just bought two things. Yeah. That, those two modes don't make a whole lot of sense. Well, the plan is to turn them into animal affairs. Yeah, I can see that, I guess. isn't really adding any fair size, of, I guess, uh, unless he wants to pay seven for them. Yeah, I mean, he's using uh, silvers mostly the payload. And he doesn't have... okay, I guess he has a bit, bit of uh, actions left. Wants to... Yep, triple conquest and council room. Yeah. Seven actions. Yeah, the two junk dealers also kind of paid off. He's a lot cleaner on copper, so the silvers aren't that much of a problem. Mm -hmm. What should animal be fair be at? Huh? Just lemon. Lemon spawn doesn't agree that animal fair should be I at mean, seven. You, had, you were by limited for a long time, so can't really afford to buy a lot of cheap stuff and then buy again a traveling fare. It's kind of like it costs two buys at that point, which is expensive, so... So right now, 
He has 18. I mean, with the treasures in hand, so. Is that just triple conquest? Yeah, I mean, I think what triple conquest double ammo fare seems good. This is looking like Triple Conquest, I think. I don't see anything better. I mean, that is... That's not. Then Providence. That's like, or I guess he's going all in for the big Conquest turn, but I mean, Silver's also helped from that. Hmm. Okay, more Silver's. Nice to see draw deck again. Yeah, drawing your deck with four silvers, or, or not four silvers, eleven silvers already. Bunch of silvers. <laughs> <laughs> but no coppers. Thirteen silvers. And you can only play one village green for the next turn, so maybe next turn is a bit worse. Except the enemy first surprised us. <laughs> I don't know. Five conquests? And silvers. So that's. So 32. It's like five so. I like provincing. I'm not sure if that's the best play. I mean, Nasmith can take several provinces here. Probably be some conquests and another council room. There's a lot you can do with 32 and 5 buys. Yeah. No animal fear. Take forever to play all these silvers. Hope you have animations off. Yeah, it is off. Four rebuilds and a province. And then you can end it next turn. You can somehow make sure you don't have province in hand. It's kind of, it's tough, I can't really say. I'm liking the multi-province line now that I think about it a little bit. Come on. Seems pretty hard to beat. I like the four rebuilds and the province line. <laughs> you can Just mill. 
Right, there's one province. Two, two provinces, council room. And two conquests. Summon a moat. Yeah. Summon two moats. Yep. Okay. That also yeah, works. that seems good. Yeah, if April doesn't score more than 30 points, you can also end it. Next turn. That's a reasonable line. It's a very Nasmith line. Mm -hmm. Right, it doesn't immediately threaten... It threatens to end the game next turn, but it also doesn't leave your opponent any big out. It's not the most points, it's not the most... I mean, it forces him to really score all he can this turn. Yep. Whether he wants to or not, but he was in that situation anyway. He really needed to score. Whatever. Uh, it is currently 2-1 Nasmith. Yeah. And only 16... Maybe 25, maybe 26 if he treasures something. I... Not scoring enough. So, it's only... Oh yeah, I guess he doesn't need to play in the council rooms. Maybe... Can you just kill a copper here? Once Naismith doesn't draw. So, 20, 25. Yeah, it's just not enough points. Is just this a quadruple conquest, or is it triple province, or I don't, I don't, I don't know. Conquest. conquest seems like his best shot. You leave silvers very low. Okay. Not all that low. Not all that low. It's not that <laughs> many silvers per conquest. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter how much you look. That's weird. Why is he buying a silver first? Oh, and then provinces. Okay. And the copper. And the copper what, what's what's the copper for? I mean, if you can draw a deck, it's free money. <laughs> I guess. Hmm? No Could have a dud. Uh, a dud that also scores like a bit. I died scoring like two provinces or whatever. What are you doing? Are you t t tapping on your mic? Yeah, I'm getting some serious. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. ASMR. Was he thinking about just going in for the next turn, playing Village Green for the next turn and then Animal Fair? Oh man, he summoned two both and still didn't. Yeah, this is Five. scary. Yeah. Two buys, double province is probably a bit scary, but maybe not. Well, if it's not double province, what's better? I would just go double and do it for next turn, unless he just wants to risk it. Freaky and Steph both want to play that village green, I do too. Seems... Like a good risk. 
April just added 5 money and he had 25 last turn, so he now has 30 coins. Well, not really, he trashed the cover with Junk Dealer, so it's more like 29. So, in amongst those 12 cards, it's Silver Provinces, two more Village Greens, and two count for how many count rooms does he have? Four. All right, he goes for the next turn. It's kind of rough. Yeah, that seems pretty hard to beat. And also, this turn seems pretty dead. Oh, here we go. <laughs> uh, and again. That's still be it. <laughs> Living on the edge. If your opponent doesn't play council rooms, your deck falls apart. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's pretty funny. I mean, you have to play it now. Yeah, you, you need to score. You're not getting another turn. I don't know what he's considering here. Playing council is looking for next turn. Naismith has however many council rooms, he's hard, like, not yeah, gonna... All the council uh, rooms are in the bottom deck. He, yeah. he only needs 18 and 6 spies. 18? 16. I've touchies. <laughs> oh. That's pretty rough. That's 8. Yes. Yeah, by the estate. Well, this is over, so yeah. uh, GG. 3 1 Nasmith now. Yep, Nasmith has the match point. Oh, yeah. Interesting play styling. Some players go, you know, like really play out their last turns, like they're very paranoid that VP is going to disappear or something. Asmith, just as soon as yeah. he sees a win, he just stops playing and immediately buys the provinces or finishes the piles. Yeah. yeah he had a, had a lot of time before to think about what he needs, yep. and it wasn't like close. Yeah. Counting to 16, isn't it? Yeah, I agree, with, I agree with Steph there. So I, I, I would, uh, go I would, back uh, and forth. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't bother me when people keep playing. Uh, Sometimes I, I do both. Sometimes if I just want to see what I can do on my last turn for experimentation or just stop and end the game. I think Steph should Im implement a win finder and if you miss the win at some point you get punished for it <laughs> at the end of the game. Hell yeah. Alright, so let's look at this board. We got Goat for trashing and counterfeit. Um, Flames Gift as well. Not any draw. Oh, just not hardly any. It's Wisps. So, wisps are the best draw. Yeah. Yeah. Wisp. That draws another wisp. So, you get a nomad camp here to. Yeah. And you can go double pixie or something. Seems pretty good to me. What 
reveals a patron with Gladiator. Ooh. Gladiator patron combo. Oh, wisps. Wisps. Two wisps, that's pretty nice. So, five with two buys. You know, counterfeit. Yeah, I mean, counterfeit on five for sure. Definitely better than Bizarre at this point. I mean, there's no draws though. Is it better, is it better than two pixies though? Sure. I think I'd take it. Whether it's better is a uh, good question. Mm. Up taking the wisps. Yeah, that could be nice. What I also always want to do in these kind of kingdoms is spam all the pixies and only trash for uh, wisps. So you have six or eight wisps at the end, and then you have some draw. Yeah. If you have enough I've, pixies, I've, you will find swamp gifts a lot. Yeah, I've seen some games just go through it, then pixie, pixie, whatever, whatever, wisps, trash. I don't think it's <laughs> it's like a, that great of a stretch, bad, but especially here, there's not. Same payload, even if you draw. At two, I got this two two card wisps. Oh, wisp drew a wisp on the first try. Mm hmm. Magic. So, goat and counterfeit, you can get pretty thin. Yeah, you counterfeit the goat. <laughs> you can do that here because you are out of the states, but. There's not really any benefit to keeping copper, mm -hmm. gold, or copper gold. Oh yeah, I see that. If gold would cost three, you could consider it here. But wisps don't draw it. But it costs two, so who cares? <laughs> oh, it's because it trashes one more. Yeah, time. counterfeiting it, but then you don't have it. But I don't think there's a ton of consequence for not having right, it. Right, there is another trash. It's, it gains a lap around. Pixie Pixie must patron you. Radiator? No. That's 3 1 Naismith. Uh, I don't really like the patron either, Psycho. I don't see what they're really doing here. You don't... I mean, you're not... There's no way I can see the reveal. Well, I guess you can reveal them with Gladiator. Yeah, and Wisp. And Sun's Gift or something. Or is Sun's Gift just look at? I'm not sure. I think it's look at. Wisp definitely reveal... Yeah, I mean, that's not super strong, but it can happen, and Another Gladiator attack. can work, too. As Sons is look at. It would be easy to, easier to just errata Patron into, if you look at this, <laughs> other than in your hand. Man, Patron would be nuts if every look at triggered it. Yeah. Sometimes it's very confusing because stuff like Zombie Spy doesn't reveal, just looks at it. Yeah, like. Where it feels like it should reveal, or it could reveal. Once I had a. City Quarter Royal Blacksmith Atron combo. So, yeah, just big. going through them all every turn. You hopefully have plus buy then. Yeah. So, what do you exile here? Added, added a camel to Czar? Okay. I mean, Source. I guess a peddler is decent on this board.
forest. What do you think about taking forest? I don't know. If you take forest, you have two, four, eight. If if you trash the copper, you already took it. Palace, so you might want to keep some coppers mm -hmm. or you just buy them in the lake game. Yeah, okay, so we just keep them. Choose them. to keep copper okay, gold. That seemed pretty good. Yeah, I think you definitely take Mountain Skiff because you want those suffers for palace. Definitely. Counterfeit, or is it counterfeit? Not really good. Kind of if you want to go for palace. Huh? Yeah, I see. <laughs> <laughs> well, guess it's not terminal plus buy. <laughs> hey, whisper of the little patron. Smith yeah, is no, kind of running away with this one. Yeah. Uh, has I... no palace BP yet, but he can add servers. Oh, you can't fit the Do gold. the goat now? Probably. Just do the goat, get rid of the coppers, and get another province. Okay. I three slippers. Silver, silver, silver. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. Yeah, he definitely should have this game. Yeah, you can exile silver with kind of train, which is kind of cool. Oh, gold. Yeah, yeah. Whatever you need, cheap golds. Just oh. Good points. Six, seven. That's not a prowess. Ooh, don't you? Make it a little bit closer. And you have to be careful if you counterfeit something on the last turn. That yeah. CVP. Yep. Prowess. Stay. Buy copper. If he counts it, how much he needs. Copper estate, okay. And get more silvers. And, I mean, if you need them. Uh, let's see, what is this? Eight. Well, that should win. Yeah. Yep. Should so, be a win. GG's. Congrats to Nasmith. And. Pretty Smith quick games and... overall. Yeah, it only took an hour and a half. So, is pretty nice. If you have copper, silver, and gold in play. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, three VP. <laughs> uh, yeah, fancy three VP. Well, Sean, two of them Never were you... fairly early resigns. Never used his coffers. Yeah. Uh, Just keep those like... coffers to flex on him. Yeah. Well, congrats to Nay Smith and 
It'll be Naismith and Mick and, and John. That one, I'm sure, will have a lot of spectators. <laughs> It'll right, be fun to watch. Thanks for commentating, gents. This was fun. Thanks for listening, everyone, and uh, see you around for later rounds.